And welcome to the Columbia Memorial Space Center. Today we're going to give you a quick tour of our facility here. So let's go ahead and go on into our lobby. So open the door. Step inside our office. Hey Diamond. What's happening? How's it going man? Just working the front desk. What's up? Goes. All right. Thank you. Well, let's go over and look at the rocket launcher. This is our first exhibit that is here, and it works like a real rocket. I want you to fill this up, so go ahead and fill it. So we're filling this bottle here with air pressure, and then once it hits 90 PSI, I want you to launch it. So hit it. And that one flew up about 25 feet, and this works just like a real rocket does. Higher pressure inside, shoots it up awesome now let's go ahead and move on to our memorial to the Columbia and the crew of STS 107 the seven astronauts were lost over Texas on reentry February 1st 2003 and these are 7,000 images put together of them to make a mural of the first launch and here's an information kiosk we have there all touch screen and here's a close-up so let's continue on to talk about the history next door because in the buildings next to us 20 real spaceships were built, 15 Apollo command modules and 5 space shuttles. Of course we can go all the way back to EMSCO in 1929. So a long rich aerospace history here in the city of Downey and we are quite proud to be able to display it. Now here is the drop tower, very cool exhibit that we have here. We can attach parachutes and little soft landers to this tower here. It goes all the way up. This is a view from the second story as a parachute comes up and it drops it right there and as it comes down we want to make sure watch out! Oh man! And we try to make it land softly and he's gotten a lot of landers. He's gotten his work in today. Now here's our media wall. It is a 13 foot wide TV that we show NASA TV on and we're gonna have our launch party for STS-133 seen on this coming up soon. Good luck to them. And now on to our paper airplane exhibit. Now, what you do is you'll take this paper. We have three different designs on the table here, but I am rubbish at folding paper. So I'm just gonna come on over to our launcher. So you make your design, you come over to the launcher, and you're gonna slip your airplane into that channel right there, and woo, slingshot it across the thing. Woo, there it goes. And let's try this again. Woo! And we're trying to get those airplanes into that hoop there. But uh, it would seem that everybody is a bit off the mark today. And we do change those designs around to help them. Now here is our Lego table. Build whatever you'd like. Legos. It's engineering for kids. And it's really, really great. And we do love our Legos here. And now we're going to come over to our gravity well. This is great because I can... Uh, let me get some marbles. I can take high concepts such as orbital dynamics and, uh, what was that? Come again? Yeah, well they do go down just like a satellite orbiting around Earth, so we can do high-end technology there. And here is our BT-13 flight simulator. It's a very awesome flight simulator we have here. 13,000 of these were made next door during World War II, and as you can see, we have actual flaps and ailerons and elevators on our uh, plane here, so it's actually flying itself. That's not mechanical, it's actually flying. And now let's go ahead and go on out to boilerplate number 19. This was just put in uh, last week. It is a great uh, Apollo test article. It was used in parachute testing and they would push it out the back of an airplane from 30,000 feet to test the parachutes to see if Apollo could land on either three or two. Now, we can come right up to it, we can look at history, we can touch history, we can feel history, and it's very important for us here at the Columbia Memorial Space Center that we recognize 
the aerospace history that has occurred. And of course, that's not the only thing we do outside. We also launch model rockets for our field trips. So here's a launch. Ignition sequence start. Whoa! That model rocket went up about 500 feet. Let's look at it. And the parachute is open. Excellent launch, of course. We're giving everyone a thumbs up on that one. And this was a launch in front of a group of kindergartners. And you can see they're giving the thumbs up. Good launch. And let's go ahead and head back inside. And we're going to continue on to our highlight of the first floor which is the Lego Mindstorms Robotics Lab and here it is we have 16 robots that kids can actually come in and take control of they do the programming on the computer download the program and then take their robot over to a Mars base and here come some Boy Scouts gentlemen assume your computers and we turned them into engineers just like what we would have at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. Now he is done programming his robot. We're going to bring it over. We can teach kids engineering, computers, and also failure analysis, which is a high engineering concept. Find your faults and then fix it. And let's see how he does here. Awesome. No failure analysis needed here. You picked up your rocks. Up top, good sir. Nicely done there. Awesome. And let's go ahead and head up to the second floor now. Up the stairs, and here we are on the second floor. Bottom floor deals with aerospace and engineering. Second floor deals with manned spaceflight and the solar system. So let's get started here at our solar system exhibit so you can build your own. You use this touch screen to drag planets of different masses over. And then we can actually run a simulation. So let's go ahead and run this one. Oh boy, we have a bit of a uh, chaotic solar system here. Planet's going crazy. So let's go weigh ourselves because that's uh, something that's very, very interesting to do. See how much you weigh on a different planet. Now I weigh a little bit over 200 pounds here. So let's see, 206. Now on the moon, I weigh 34 pounds. And that's because there's, uh, the moon is made of uh, less stuff, less mass, so less pull of gravity from that. And on Mars, a smaller planet, I would weigh 77 pounds. But on Jupiter, I would weigh 400 and, okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about that. But we are gonna talk about our spacesuit here. This is a shuttle EMU replica spacesuit. It is as accurate as possible. And we'll go ahead and show you, look at this awesome NASA patch here. It's so accurate that the knobs that astronauts can't see are backwards because they would use mirrors to see them. And it makes for a great photo opportunity. So if you do come by, make sure to get that photo for your Facebook. Now let's come on over to the Mars Odyssey. This is like Oregon Trail, but you're doing a mission to Mars, so we have to build our crew, and then we have to take supplies, and eventually we actually send off on a mission to Mars. Now, this is our magic planet. It is a projection sphere, and we can use it to teach kids about planetary sciences, and also Earth sciences. Say, uh, I want to look at the temperature of Earth's uh, surface during the day and here you go here's the daytime temperatures as they fluctuate now we can also look at planetary bodies such as Jupiter and why talk about Jupiter's atmosphere when I can show you Jupiter's atmosphere in motion how awesome is that yeah that's usually a big kicker now when we come over here we talk about Earth from space a growing uh, business to photograph things from space and we can use this to collect all sorts of data, scientific and commercial, that can help out people. Now, let's come on over to one of my favorite exhibits, Life in Space. Everybody always wonders, how do you do things in space? And that's what this exhibit teaches you. We use real footage from the International Space Station and Space Shuttle flights to actually show you how they live in space. Help bring cures for uh, ovarian 
brain cancer and colon cancer, as well as uh, some other diseases. So uh, we really uh, feel honored to have a part in this uh, medical research. How cool is that? Learning about medical research on board the space station. Now, let's come on over to our shuttle flight simulator here. Now, the pilot seat is docking with the space station. Commander's seat here is flying the space uh, space shuttle into land. And I'm going to go ahead and give my chance at landing this. Uh, you know, I've only been doing this for a year and a half, so I hope I do a good job. Now. This would take quite a while. It's about three minutes to land. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the controls here, and I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process. And here we come down. We're going to be landing here very, very soon. And... Yes! Touchdown! All right, let's see how I did. All right, what's my score? What's my score? That was a truly superb Yes! 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 And NASA, if you need someone to land your shuttles for you, I can be found at 12400 Columbia Way, Downey, California, 90242. Now, let's go ahead and move on to our Challenger Learning Center. Now we're looking into mission control of our two-sided spacecraft simulator. Now, this simulator allows kids to actually take a journey to the moon. And we're going to go ahead and go to the spacecraft side. And once the kids pass through those doors, they become astronauts. They are now in charge of the spacecraft, and we have to go through an airlock in order to get to our spacecraft. So let's go ahead and open this as carefully as possible. Being nice and gentle with this. And now that the airlock is open, we're going to step in, and I'm going to turn around and look back at the Earth, and then I'm going to say, see you later. I'm going to go look back. And here we are on board the spacecraft with a full spacecraft crew. Looking good, everybody. Now, there are lots of things for us to do in here. There are eight stations where the kids work at on the spacecraft and the mission control. And they do have a partner in mission control that they are working with throughout the mission. They switch at the halfway point. And here we see Isolation working with robotic arms. And now we've got a remote team working with lunar rock samples. And here is the probe team rebuilding our probe. And we're looking in on mission control now as they work hard to get us to the moon. Mission control, this is spacecraft. Are we go or no go for a Excellent job, Khan. Now, here is our mid-brief where the astronauts come back to mission control and they tell their partners everything they need to know since they are switching sides for the next half of that mission. And now we've got two astronauts working diligently on a project and finally we are going to go ahead and land on the moon. And now we'll see our foot pads coming down on the spacecraft and then we'll help, we'll be down and I want you guys to celebrate like crazy because we landed on the moon. Woo! Not quite yet. We have landed successful. And my name is Jared Head. Thanks for coming on a tour with me today at the Columbia Memorial Space Center. You can always find us on our Facebook, on Twitter, and on our brand new shiny website. Make sure to check it out. Thanks and have a great day.